what is up guys blood in my fold seen and we're back with some more more troubadour da 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 we just attacked hard play three this is an epic intro troll da 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 Oh man, I love the music in this game, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, Harpy Lady 3 will stop us from attacking for two turns. Ah, we got out Triangle Ecstasy Spark out of our hand. Well, that's good, because honestly, that's a pretty good card. Uh, we will end the turn. In phase. Activate the effect of Blast Oh, right! I almost forgot about that. Yeah, sure. I'm glad the game prompts you like that. That is very helpful. Uh, let's just take probably Sinister Serpent. Oh, wait. Do I have Giant Germ in this deck? Let me check. Let's just check. Let's go next view here. Giant Germ? No, Giant Germ is not in this deck. Ooh. But I didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, Command Knight is pretty good. Defense mode, Command Knight. That'll boost my Fiend Mega Cyber. So, yeah, Command Knight is a good call. Alright, what you got, mine? Harpy Lady 1. Yeah, and she does have Malevolent Nuzzle, we know, so... That's a good call, that's a good call. So, this is basically my, like, standard Duelist Kingdom strategy. Just, you know, power up one monster with a bunch of equips. Uh, what can I say? It does work, honestly. It does work. Yikes, that thing's all the way at 2,800. I would be more worried, but we do have Giant True so that's good. Uh, yeah. In that turn, my plus I'm gonna get Pot of Greed next turn. Two turns. All right, my castle shatter and give me my Pot of Greed. Now I'll start and I drew Soul Absorption. This is gonna be a very good turn. I'll play Soul Absorption, then I'll play Pot of Greed, my. This lets me draw two cards. All right, and now, hmm, DD Assailant, that's good. And now I play Giant True Nade. I guess I could have, actually. <laughs> Funnily enough, I could have uh, just ran uh, DD Assailant into her uh, Harpy Lady and then uh, basically destroyed all those equips anyway by uh, banishing Harpy Lady as well. That would have been, uh, that would have been interesting, but that's uh, okay. I think this is a good move too. Clear the field. Right, Fiend Mega Cyber can't attack uh, due to Harpy Lady 3, but also luckily for us, she did not have uh, Elegant Egotist yet. And we've already gotten rid of two of her Harpy Lady, so that's good. That's really good, honestly. So, interesting point uh, to make, though, is that uh, Cyber Harpy Lady is in this game. So, what's interesting about Mai's deck here is she actually runs one copy of one, one copy of two, because I remember two shutting off the of flip effects uh, a couple duels ago. So, she runs one copy of Harpy Lady 1, one copy of Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady 2, and one copy of Harpy Lady 3. Yeah, can see, there's two right there. So, it's pretty interesting. She actually doesn't go with... Uh, most people in their Harpy decks, they run like three copies of Harpy Lady 1, which is pretty good because if you get both on the field, you know, they're going to boost all wins by 600, putting them both at 19. So, and, it'll, and that'll put Sisters at 2550. Uh, so, pretty interesting. I, I do think 3 is, Harpy Lady 3 is underrated though. You know, preventing a monster for attacking for two turns. That's honestly pretty good, yeah. And like you saw there, she did it to one of my strongest monsters, so. Oh, I lost. The worst nightmare I can imagine just came true. Oh no. All right. Anyway, so pretty interesting choice uh, because I'm pretty sure Cyber Harpy Lady is also in this game. And you know, they're all treated as Harpy Lady, so you can only use a total of three. So, yeah. Some people will also play like two Harpy Lady 1 and one Cyber Harpy Lady, which is pretty good. Because, uh, you know, if you get the Elegant Egotist, you know, you can have like Harpy Lady 1 out and then Elegant Egotist into Cyber Harpy Lady. And that's a 2100 level 4. That's pretty good, honestly. Alright, so, oh, and there's another person here. Okay. So, 
and uh, this is kind of exactly why I was talking about what I was talking about last episode, why I wanted to register everyone. Check this out. We got five people on the map, none of them registered, man. So, I, I, just, I, just, I guess we'll go up here. Oh, and it's Yami Yugi. Wow. Out of all the people, you want to duel me? Ha, that's fine, but I don't intend to lose, Flood. All right, let's do it, Yami Yugi. Union Force. And, um, it's kind of weird. Why is Yami Yugi a level one duelist, right? Like, I would not put Yami Yugi level one. And to answer that question, I think the reason he's level one for us right now is because, uh, I'm actually going to start with swords here. Yami Yugi is tough. Um, yeah, I think the reason he's level one here is because we did all that grinding, you know, during the infinite shadow game bonus. Uh, but yeah, in your game, you know, if you're playing along or whatever, I'm pretty sure Yami Yugi will be like a five star duelist. And he'll at least be three stars, let me say that. He'll be at least three stars, for sure. Um, let's see, so let's go with Axe Raider. Attack mode. Um, should I equip United We Stand? Uh, probably. Yugi's got some really high defense monsters. So, yeah, this is probably a good call. Um, but yeah. Yami Yugi is, uh, he's definitely a strong duelist, much like Seto Kaiba. So, oh, good call, good call. He has Gear Golem, the Moving Fortress. So, yeah, if you're playing along in this game, he may be, he may show up as five stars on the map, which, honestly, he should. As well, like, Seto Kaiba. Uh, I think my, uh, you know, if you don't do a lot of grinding like I did, she should show up as, like, a three-star opponent. And, um... I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about uh, once we're done with this duel. Because, like, yeah, Yami Yugi is by no means a one-star duelist. But I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, so, ooh, very good draw. Very good draw. Sasuke Samurai will um, be able to use its effects to eliminate his monster no matter what. What? That's perfect. Sasuke Special Samurai Slush. All right, sweet. Better hope you have a Karibo, Yugi. My Axe Raiders got 4,100 attack. Oh, and he took all of that damage. Woo, that was a very good turn for us. Wow. I guess it was the right move playing Sword's first turn. Is Yami Yugi going to go down this quick? Jeez. He's at 500. I expected some some shenanigans by now, but we've gotten luck. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. Here come the shenanigans. Pot agreed. Bra oh, okay, yeah, that's a good call. Breaker, man, I really want this card. Breaker, the Magical Warrior, so good. So he's going to destroy my swords, right? Or United We Stand would be a good call, honestly. Uh, he did destroy swords. Okay, okay. All right, Yugi, all right. You didn't get out of here without doing any damage to us. Uh, that, <laughs> this is more of what I expected from him. This is why I played sword first turn. Man, Breaker, so good. No traps, though. Still no traps? I mean, we basically win. Uh, I don't think I can get exactly Z. Well, uh, his breaker's at 16. No, even if I tribute for uh, Fiend Mega Cyber, it would be 600. So, I guess we got really lucky. Uh, this guy's got six cards in his hand and no, you know, spells or traps face down. That's honestly pretty lucky. Uh, but yeah, quick duel versus Yami Yugi. I wouldn't expect that every time, by the way. But uh, yeah, with that we get 110, and uh, wow. Yep, 135, very good. A lot of good points there. Ah, your skills are impressive. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, let me show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. Is it here, I think? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you see you see here on the, yeah, how it has this level at three stars? That's what it probably should show up on the map. Yeah, Yugi, th regular Yugi, even three stars. Yeah, Joey, three stars. Yeah, so I think it's just showing everyone's stars at one because I did all that grinding with the Shadow Games. Uh, now, Mokuba, yeah, should be at either two or one stars usually. 
Uh, Bakura is usually two or one. Yeah, but like Taya, CC, yeah, the level, like, feeble is what they put for one star. So yeah, people like Taya definitely should be one star. You know, my, yeah, she probably, so if you're playing along, mine's probably like a three star. Uh, uh, Serenity, they put it feeble. Rebecca, they put it three, yeah. Solomon, two. Yeah, see, these are what their levels are supposed to be at. I guess it's just because I did so much grinding that uh, everyone's at one star. But yeah, people like Mako and Esperoba, Rex Raptor, they're all at two stars, so interesting. And Weevil really hates us. You can see the kind of kind of frowny face down here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, Pegasus, three star, of course. So, And uh, what's Kaiba? Did we see Kaiba? Uh, wait, we've played Kaiba, right? Where's Kaiba? Seto Kaiba. Yeah, Kaiba's at three. So yeah, yeah, people like Kaiba and Yugi, you probably should see it like three to five stars, but yeah. So don't be fooled by what you see from me here. <laughs> yeah, because there's no way, you know, Yami Yugi's a three-star duelist. I am I, I mean a one-star duelist. I am sorry. He's just too good. He's the king of games, man. All right, so it looks like we got five people again on this side of the map. Yep, five people, all, all that we haven't registered. Um, let's just go with, let's go with one of the ones closest to us. Uh, this one or this one? Let's go with top left. Yami Yugi again, okay. Okay, round two, baby, let's do it. You want to duel me? Yes. Ah, uh, rematch. Let's do it. All right, Yami Yugi. Let's see if you can get me this time, buddy. Let's see if you can play a better game this time. I'm sure you can. You're the king of games. The king of card games. All right. Let's do it. Pretty good hand here. Mirror Force. You know, Sasuke Samurai. Ah, he's playing some back row this time. All right. All right. Dream Clown. Interesting first hand. Uh, hmm. Well, let's just go with... Let's go with a save it. Definitely our our best card on hand. Uh, hopefully we don't run into like a Mirror Force or something. But uh, let's just try. Gear Golem, yeah. So, <laughs> I guess that's a standard opening play. Gear Golem, pretty good, yeah. 2200. Very good defense. All right. We'll set Mirror Force and in our turn. What? Oh, I did that main phase too. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is it let me in my turn? Go ahead, Yugi. Well, he's not attacking us. I mean, that's... Honestly, I'll take that. Uh, Foolish Burial. I imagine I have... Hmm. Something I could do here. I do have Warrior Returning Alive. So something I could do. Well, let's do this. Let's send Command Knight. Right. Then let's Warrior Returning Alive Command Knight. Yeah, that'll put us over 2100. So that's good. Alright, alright. Summon Command Knight. So no matter what, we won't be able to attack him directly. But maybe now we can defeat this face down monster. DD Warrior? Oh, he does have Mirror Force face down. He just didn't play it because our monster couldn't beat him. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um, go ahead, Yugi. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. So he's got Gamma, Giant Ratty at face down. Now, interesting, you would think I would Mirror Force here. I'm actually going to let the damage go through. I'm actually going to let the damage go through, because we do have Lightning Vortex in our hand. So, next turn, I will Lightning Vortex. That way we can use Mirror Force defensively during Yugi's next turn. A lot of damage to take, but yeah, this is kind of more of what I expected from you, Yugi. But uh, last time he didn't play any, you know, spells and traps his face down, so... Yeah. Alright, so we draw. Yeah, Magician of Faith, okay. So I will Lightning Vortex, like I said. So let's do that. Boom. 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 
payback, you get payback. Now, hmm, let me think. I do have a warrior returning alive in my graveyard. Maybe I should actually go with Magician of Faith, face down. Yeah. Go ahead, Yugi. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oops. I entered the battle phase. Go ahead. Yeah, because I think I'll take Warrior Returning alive, actually. That way we can have a solid monster in Sangan. Yeah, he's not going to attack with Sangan. Alright, Axe Raider. Very good, very good. So, let me think here. Let's just go with Axe Raider. Let's see what he gets off of Sangan here. Go, Axe Raider! Slice him and dice him! Alright, we finally do some damage, Yami Yugi. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I spoke too soon! Ha! Now my Karibo will protect my life points, Flood. You won't be damaging me yet. Ha 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 ha! Alright, Yami Yugi, alright. Well done, sir. Alright. Hmm, another face down. Well, you can't have two Mirror Force in the same deck, so I'm not... Yeah, okay, okay. Also, Rock Bombardment is interesting, because I know he just searched for Gear Golem, and that is an Earth Monster. So, I'm going to play this, even though Yugi does have some Earth Monsters, like, uh... Gamma and, uh... All the Magnet Warriors are Earth, I think. Yeah, but we're going to play it anyway. Alright, go X-Rate us! Slice them and dice them! I figured it was Gear Golem. Alright. There we go. Good, good. Guy Power Rule is a very good draw there. And we still have Mirror Force in the back pocket, so that's good. Alright. We've taken back control of the field. What are you gonna do, Yami Yubi? What are you gonna do? We still haven't had to use Magician of Faith yet, either, which is good. Ah! Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Ooh, this is a bit of a problem, I just realized. Um, I actually am gonna Mirror Force here, because... With Gaia Power, that puts Obnoxious Celtic Guard at uh, 1900. And its own effect <laughs> would have protected it in battle. Because, see, check this out, check this out. Yeah, Obnoxious Celtic Guard. Yeah, it can't be destroyed in battle if it battles a monster with 1,900 or more attack. So, honestly, that was a good Mirror Force there, I think. Now we got the A Forces, the namesake of the deck. All right, I think it's time. Magician of Faith, take it back. The Warrior Returning Alive. I think we can win this turn because we're already boosted by Gaia Power. And if I play Warrior Returning Alive to take back Command Knight... Yeah, we should definitely have quite the power boost. Go, come on, knight. And now, battle phase. Uh, let's get to it. Dream Clown, attack. Let's see what his attack is at. 2,900, holy crap. Oh yeah, because I have allied forces too, man. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Go, Lax Raider, slice him and dice him. Oh, and we had exactly 3,400. I didn't even mean to do that, guys. I wasn't even looking at the attack points. But holy crap, 3,400 attack point x -rater. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, we win, Yami Yugi. <laughs> and we had Mirror Force back there the whole time. But it was it was smart to save it, though, because it definitely helped against that obnoxious Celtic god of Yugi's. Ah, your skills are impressive. I won't give up, though. That's the spirit, Yami Yugi. Never give up. Okay, so it looks like we are at 8. Minutes. Um, let's hit the home icon real quick. Let's hit the home icon. Uh, let's save. Um, well, I guess it's gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, because normally I like to go 20 minutes. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, guys, we're just gonna buy. We're gonna go to the shop real quick, and we're gonna buy like, eh, like three or four packs in the episode. Normally I like to go, you know, to about 20 minutes or past, but I don't think we have time for another one. So yeah, let's just come here to the shop and let's let's buy a couple packs here. Oh, and by the way, uh, 
in between episodes, I did figure out what card I want out of here, the visitor from beyond. Yeah, Mystical Space Typhoon's in this pack. Mystical Space Typhoon. So, now we didn't get it out of, uh, like, four or five packs, so I'm not going to try again today. But that is duly noted. That is duly noted. Uh, so let's buy... Let's, this one's only at 82. Let's buy a couple of these. Let's buy, like, three or four of Tricky Tunes here. See if we get anything good to, to end out the episode. Bottom of the strap hole is good. And I think you can only use one lightning vortex, but hey, another one is good. Alright. But yeah, Mystical Space Typhoon is the card we were looking for. I think we only had three bottom uh two one bottomless before, so now I have three. Also, I did only have two Toon Table of Contents. So I'm kinda glad I opened this pack. So now we got another one. So that's good. That's very good. Alright, Feng Shing Mirror, Servant Strategy. Uh, I also think I only had two Exarion Universe, so that's good. We got another one of those. Uh, this will be, yeah, let's make this the last pack, because we're at, uh, yeah, we're at 21 minutes now. Yeah, last pack. Fiend Sanctuary. This is actually a pretty good card, so check this out. Special Summon 1 Metal Fiend Token. Uh, token can attack, but excess damage uh, against the controller from battle is received by the opponent instead. So basically, it's kind of like an Amazon of Swordswoman effect. Pay a thousand life points during your standby phase. If you do not, uh, pay the tokens destroyed. So, can buy you a turn. Of course, unlike most tokens too, you can also use it as a tribute summon. So, very good card. Very good card. So, yeah. Definitely glad we got that. Alright guys, and with that, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. Alright, so thank you guys all for joining me. Click on the home icon, make sure we don't get into a shadow game in the episode. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's episodes. Thank you guys all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Yeah, let's get to editing that deck, man. That's some good cards. Hey. Alright, yeah, because we got another command knight and another table, two table, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, another DD assailant too. Holy crap. Yeah, this warrior deck's gonna be looking pretty good. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time.